Hey guys, welcome to Geo Motoko. In today's video, we are covering the topic of vertical exaggeration. For this calculation, we are looking at how much this vertical scale has been exaggerated. We have two scales, we have a vertical scale VS and the horizontal scale. As you can see, horizontal scale is my map scale. In this case, we are using the topographical map with a scale of 1 is to 50,000, right? So be, be careful with the question. Sometimes they use 1 is to 10,000, meaning uh, they are working with the autophoto map, right? In this case, it is 1 is to 50,000. We are working with the topographical map, with the topographical map, right? This is our vertical scale. Our vertical scale, sometimes it is given, but in this case it is not given but you have these values 1000 1020 so you'll find the difference between two conservative numbers there 1020 minus 1000 is, the answer is 20 1040 minus 1020 the answer is still 20 which means that our vertical scale is 1 is to 20 but you need to be very careful with this one right this scale we know that this scale is in centimeters this one centimeter on the map represents 50,000 centimeters on the actual ground, right? But with our vertical scale, our vertical scale is not in centimeters, it is in meters. It is in meters. This is one centimeter on the map represents 20 meters on the ground. It represents 20 meters on the ground. The reason why we exaggerated a vertical scale is to make a um, some slopes easier to recognize, right? For example, for, for a mountain, it should be easier to see a mountain on a cross section. We are using the same scale, 1 is to 50,000 for horizontal scale and 1 is to 50,000 for our vertical scale. It is going to be very difficult to see a flat area. Hence, we have to exaggerate it vertically so that you can see how it looks, right? So for this calculation, we are going to calculate how many times has this landform or this cross-section been exaggerated. Now the formula for vertical exaggeration, VE, vertical exaggeration, is vertical scale over horizontal scale. Vertical exaggeration, VE, equals vertical scale over horizontal scale. Now let's start with our vertical scale at the top. I told you this is our vertical scale. We found the difference. Sometimes it, it is given, right? But in this case, we found it. It is one is two, one is two, 20. But I told you this 20, this is in meter, right? One centimeter represents 20. So in order for us to calculate, we need to use the same units, right? This scale, one is 50,000 is in centimeters, centimeters, but this one, the vertical scale 1 is to 20 is in meters we need to convert this 20 into a centimeter because i want us to work with centimeters only right so whenever you calculate vertical exaggeration make sure you are working with one unit the horizontal scale is already in centimeters let's make the vertical scale in centimeters as well we do that by multiplying this 20 by 100 multiply the 20 by 100 now we have 1 is 2, 2,000. Our vertical scale is now 1 is to 2,000. This 1 is to 2,000 is now in centimeters. Now all we have to do is write it as a fraction. 1 is to 20,000 is the same as 1 over 2,000. Then here's your first mark. Right? We took the 1 is to 20, we made it uh, centimeters, 1 is to 2,000. And then we put it as a fraction 1 over 2000. That's our vertical scale. Now let's find our horizontal scale. Horizontal scale, we know it is 1 is to 50,000. This one is already in centimeters. So all we have to do is write it as a fraction 1 over 50,000. 1 over 50,000. Right? Here's my horizontal scale. I have my vertical scale 1 over 2000 which is in centimeters. I have my horizontal scale 1 over 50,000 which is in centimeters. Right? I have my vertical scale 1 over 2000. Horizontal scale 1 over 50,000. Now let's go to our formula. 
VE. It says VE equals VS. VS is my vertical scale. I have my vertical scale 1 over 2000. But it is VS over HS. This represents a division, right? It is VH divided by HS. So I can just put that division sign like that, right? 1 over 2000 divided by 1 over 50. Right, Vs over Hs. Now, the next step is to change this division sign into a multiplication. Division turned into multiplication. Now, when you do this, it means that you need to invert on this side, right? You need to put this 50,000 over 1. You see, it is no longer 1 over 50,000. It is now 50,000 over 1. That's what you do when you change this sign, right? But you need to be careful. This 1 over 2,000 remains as it is. We only change this side, right? And then you punch in your calculator. Then you punch in your calculator. 1 over 2,000 times 50,000 over 1. And the answer is 25. But you don't just leave it as 25. You write 25 times because we are calculating how many times it was exaggerated right so your answer is 25 times so this means that if we are working with an auto photo map it is going to be 1 is to 10,000 and then our answer will obviously be different right so one more time vs 1 is to 20 this vs is in meters we need to multiply by 100 to make it centimeters 1 is to 2000 and then we write it as a fraction 1 over 2000 our horizontal scale 1 is to 50,000 is already in centimeters so we only have to write it as a fraction 1 over 50,000 right and then finally we put this into our formula VE equals VS over HS here is our VS 1 over 2000 this represents division, that's why I wrote divided by 1 over 50,000, which is my horizontal scale. And then I change this division side into a multiplication side, which means that this side has to change from 1 over 50,000 to 50,000 over 1. Then I punch into my calculator and then get 25 times. Sometimes there's a mark for this step where you are putting where we are changing the sign from division to multiplication. 